I painted this of my wife who uh, walks around um, like this a lot. Um, she's French, French Russian, and um, you know, it, uh, she gets a lot of attention that way, which uh, I don't really mind. Um, she's not the most modest person in the world, but that's okay. And, and uh, as long as she's expressing herself, it makes for um, some good uh, subject matter. And so I, um, I just uh, wanted to teach her how she is and how she um, exists. Juliana. I'm here at the Solas Fall 2023 Showcase. Um, this is a piece by me here. It's a lunar self-portrait. <laughs> a much younger self-portrait of me. Um, I work with analog and digital collage as well as animation. Um, this piece in partic particular started with uh, analog and then I manipulated a lot of it digitally and it's now printed on metal. Um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram Instagram at Surreal Deep Cuts. Hi, my name is Gina Lucia. I'm a digital collage artist based out of New York City area. This is my artwork. This is a diptych. It's called The Garden of Earthly Delights. It's inspired by Hieronymus Bosch. You have a female on the right hand side who's in darkness and you have a male who's in a transformative state. Um, I design these digitally but I print them using more traditional printing methodologies by separating them and creating depth between the layers physically inside of a shadow box. Um, in this particular set you have darkness and light but when you bring the male form and the female form together you have this symbiotic relationship and it's um, there's a lot of organic shapes and matter nature becomes a dominant theme it's put together sort of like in a surrealist style but also like merging together things that are unlikely juxtapositions of images that you might find in a dreamscape my Instagram is Gio Lucia artist thank you hello my name is Brandon Weiscarver this is my artwork a small painting about war um, I'm a VR painter, so I paint in virtual reality, and then I get it printed here at Sola Studio. This is printed on canvas and attached to a wood mount. Um, I paint kind of subconsciously, so I don't think about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I call this a small painting of, about war because after I did it, I took a look at it and I realized I had done the Palestinian flag colors. Uh, and I sort of started attributing meaning to it, so I see this as like a conceptual line that's been crossed. You know, the Israeli people here represented by these small, um, sort of ghost-like uh, white segments. Uh, this, I think, probably was my interpretation of like the Iron Dome system uh, and some incursion into other territories. So, you know, this is something that I thought of after the fact, but that's what I think it's about, to my best guess. So if you want to check out more of my artwork, you can follow me on TikTok at Wise Carver or Brandon Wise Carver on Instagram or the fakeartgallery.com.
welcome to my art show. My name is Michaela Perry and I'm an oil painter based in Harlem. Um, you are joining me here to see my newest collection which is called Memories in Bloom. It's a collection of oil paintings featuring farm animals overlaid with flowers and each painting represents a very specific memory to me. I'm a multi-generational farmer from rural Vermont and I have lost my family's farm so I'm the last generation that was able to steward the land and so each animal represents an animal that was on the farm when I grew up and each flower choice um, is either a flower that's native to Vermont into the land that I grew up on and is um, a symbol of reverence to that land or it's a flower that my mother grew in our garden to also represent my mother and her contributions to the farm and the other really special thing about about this collection is that every person who comes in here has their own very unique memories and stories of each animal and so we'll be able to connect with the paintings no matter where they're from or what their background is and so in a way it also unites us as people and that's my mission as an artist is to unite all people and be able to share our stories you can follow my art at on Instagram at Michaela Perry Art, or my website is www.michaelaperry.art.
about how hard I try I need you and your hardness to mine Yeah, I'm all about keeping it you and I When you're here, you spark chemical reactions Your aura strikes like lightning Got no words, I'm just drowning in attraction Only one way to describe it It's electric, can you feel it? called Wet Plate Collodion and it predates film. It's from the late 1800s. It's the third type of photography process. So daguerreotypes came before that and calotypes. So there's no negatives. This is before negative photography. So therefore, it only comes in black and white. You use cyanide, ether, and silver nitrate and you etch onto pieces of metal or glass to create these images. So the only time you can recreate them is if you use a high resolution flatbed scanner and then you can get an image and do a print, which I've done here with newsprint actually, because I don't like frames and I don't like glossy. I don't think that it quite suits it because the chemistry itself is volatile and so therefore it's unpredictable. So I just wanted to talk a bit about this, introduce myself, and tell you about the process. My Instagram, sorry, is Rowan Dumont, R-O-W-Y-N-N-D-U-M-O-N-T.
people try to match it Don't be sad if you don't make it up You hope for one last Live and life means making blunders You can make you shatter You will try to fight the thunder Trust me no matter what happens Because I will stay by your side in your heart Whatever happens Remember that you can do anything
I didn't know I could feel like this Running away, try to keep us surviving Person who I fall so hard You scare me with how much I could love Take a crossing your line. 